What's good, Josh? Your man, DL Saint. Happy Monday. Uh, it's time for a DL short. As you can see, I got a little turtleneck on, man, because it's a little nipply down here in Florida. Uh, I want to say when I woke up, it was barely 50 degrees. Um, I think it's uh, low to mid 60s, and I think that's going to be the high today here in Central Florida. It is what it is. I can't really call it cold. Being a man from the Midwest, I grew up in Cincinnati. And uh, listen, what I'm dealing with down here is nothing compared to what I've dealt with in the Midwest. But, uh, but yeah, it's, you know, it's chilly for Florida, so it is what it is. Got to put it on. Um, hope y'all weekend was good. I hope you're safe. Uh, so let's get into it. Last Saturday, uh, Donald Trump announced that he would be arrested Tuesday, which is tomorrow. And uh, I know I saw Patrick David tweet about it. You know, uh, of course, there's news out there. I haven't read any articles or anything like that. But it just struck me in such a way that I had to talk about at least a little bit. Like, yo, why would you say something like that, bro? Like, how do you, first of all, how do you know? You're the subject. How do you know <laughs> they're coming for you on, on, on a certain day? Doesn't make sense to me. Um, it's just a little off. Something's a little off. Uh, his legal team was saying they don't know anything about it. You know, um, the prosecutors, the prosecutor's office, Manhattan District Attorney's office, they're like, hey, we didn't, we didn't put that out. Uh, I don't know. We'll get into it. But it just seemed a little bit weird to me. So I woke up today and. Breaking Points, which is one of my favorite shows on YouTube, by the way. Please go over and check out Crystal and Sagar over here on Breaking Points. They um they do a really good job over there. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I like them a lot. So they talked about it, and I thought it would be a, a good opportunity to kind of listen to what they have to say and, and they'll kind of give you my two cents on it. You know what I mean? So let's get into it. Great stories that they had, the payoffs that they would kill, we all learned about. Yeah. Yes, it was a interesting in its own right that we all learned a lot about in 2018. The crux of it comes down to this. Stormy Daniels was paid $130,000. This money was paid by President Trump's personal attorney, Michael Cohen, who has since served some time in jail and turned against the former president and actually turned witness against him in this case. In it, he admitted to paying her $130,000. Now, where is the violation here? Well, all right, let's start right there, bro. Off rip. We all know what it is. We're talking about Donald Trump. Um, you know, full disclosure, I'm not a Trump guy. I'm not. You go back and look at my content. I say it all the time. I'm not a con. I'm not a. I'm not a Trump guy. I even talk about why I'm not a Trump guy. But here's the thing. Donald Trump is the guy that said, "Grab him by the." You know what? I call it Foxy Brown because you know the actual term is not a YouTube friendly term. Grab him by the Foxy Brown. That's what he was talking about. We all heard the, the, the video. Yeah, it was a hot mic situation, whatever, whatever. It is what it is. And you know, the Stormy Daniels story, there was also another story revolving around a Playboy model. There's a story, the rumor or story or myth or whatever it was about the golden showers in Russia, whatever. If you were a powerful man, you're going to have certain types of options you can exercise. It is what it is. And if you move in like this, to a point where I'm going to run for a powerful office like the president of the United States. And you know what I mean? I want to keep an image somewhat clean. I'm going to be paying people off because I know I'm going to have folks coming for me. Okay, I get all that. I ain't tripping. I understand all that. My thing is, why didn't you have a fund set up for this? Right? You know how you get down. You know what you've been doing. Why is the money set aside somewhere? So Donald Trump had his attorney, Michael Cohen, pay off this porn star to keep her quiet, $130,000. All right, fine. No problem. That money should have came out of the payoff fund. No problem. He's going to take that money out of here, give it to her, whatever. Don't take it from your campaign fund. What is you thinking, bro? Well, let's get back to it. 
were multiple avenues of inquiry on this. Number one, was this a campaign finance violation because it was done in connection with the 2016 campaign? This was alleged at the time. Uh, federal, the FEC actually looked into it. This was the initial thought about the way that federal prosecutors would go after Trump while he was president. Ultimately, the federal investigation, the FEC investigation went nowhere. Now, the New York authorities are looking at this paint in which Michael Cohen was reimbursed this $130,000 by the Trump organization itself. Right. That reimbursement and then the subsequent cover-up or possible misrecording or possible uh, recording it not in the way legally that they should have is at the crux of what we are looking at here. So right off the rip, looks like I was wrong. Okay, they looked into it. He didn't take it from campaign funds. He wasn't reimbursed from campaign funds. Okay, cool. It came from the organization. Uh-uh. If you're someone like Donald Trump, man, you know people going to be looking at everything you do under a microscope. You got a lot of people who don't like you. And they're going to use every tool to under in their arsenal at their disposal to come get you. Don't help them out, bro. Again, you should have had a fund set up somewhere way over there. That's what this fund is for. And I would take it a step further. I got a special lawyer that handles that fund. So I'm like, all right, Cohen, this is what we're going to do. All right, bet. Call up the other attorney. Go see her. Get the paper signed. Give her the money. It came out of that account. Whatever. You know what I mean? It, it, just, it is what it is. So he didn't take it, it seems, from campaign funds. He took it from his organization. And then it looked like there's some sort of smoke and mirrors with regards to the accounting, right? As to, you know, how the money was, was you know, taken and, and recorded and this and that. Probably has to do with taxes. Okay. And this is real convoluted. If you had that separate fund way over there, it's not even an issue, bro. It's not an issue. No one's talking about it. But now you're looking at, oh, they going to come get me? I might have to sit down? I mean, my goodness, but let's continue. $130,000 hush money payment from 2016. Let's go ahead and put this up there on the screen. The New York Times actually a decent explainer inside the payoff to the porn star that could lead to Trump's indictment. The crux of the case is going to focus on Article 175 of the New York Penal Law of falsifying business records. A conviction of a felony version of bookkeeping fraud carries a sentence of up to four years. To prove that Mr. Trump committed that offense, prosecutors would seemingly need evidence showing he knowingly caused subordinates to make a false entry into his company's records, quote, with the will intent to defraud. For the action to be a felony rather than a misdemeanor, prosecutors need to show that Mr. Trump falsified the business records with the intention of committing, aiding, or concealing a second crime. As in that they would have to prove that the first payment, the initial cover-up was a crime, yeah. and that the knowledge of what they were doing was intentionally trying to cover up a crime to meet the felony statute. That is basically where we are at with the theory of the case. However, the prosecutor... Do you see how deep in the woods these people are trying to get Trump? Again, I'm not a Trump guy, but bro, I can see what's going on. Hey man, let him, he made it. He did what he did. He got to the White House, right? <laughs> he had his administration. He had his four years, and then he got voted out. That's that, bro. What, what is all this we doing right here? You know what I mean? If, if he's done some real crimes, and yes, this is a crime. All right, I give you that. But so is jaywalking. So is littering. You know what I mean? So, I mean, dude, we have so many rules, so many laws in this country I guarantee you, whoever you are watching this right now, you committed a crime today. Guaranteed. Might have been a misdemeanor. Maybe it was a felony. Guaranteed. Especially now. Money getting tight. You know what I mean? We bailing out these banks. You see what's going on with the 1%. You know what I'm saying? Can you afford to get your tags on your car? Right? Do you got enough money to do that? Are you floating checks right now? Writing a bad check is a crime. You know what I mean? Floating a check is a crime. Everybody out here guilty of something. And if you got a whole lot of people looking into what you're doing, come on, bro. But what they're talking about right here, shout out to Saga, like what he's talking about. What? Come on, man. This all you got on him? This is it. He paid off a porn star, $130,000.
to keep her mouth shut about their affair. Come on, man. And now you got to get a whole bunch of people in here. You got to line up folks. You got to get people to talk. We're going to convene a grand jury. You got investigators. How much money has been spent on this investigation? Y'all know how many unsolved murders, <laughs> you know what I mean, occur in this country every single day? And Manhattan is putting in money on this? Come on now. I don't understand that. And this is just Manhattan. We still got what's going on in Georgia, right? We still got what's going on with the uh, classified documents. There's plenty of stuff going on, man. Why don't y'all just let this one ride? Like, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Donald Trump ain't no worse than any of the other politicians out there. Look at Biden. Look at what's going on with his family. Look at the Clintons. What's going on with that? You know what I mean? George H.W., I'm sorry, uh, George W. Bush. W. Bush, which I like personally. I think he's a cool cat. Wasn't crazy about his administration, but I thought he was a cool cat. He's wanted for war crimes, just like Putin. So, I don't know, man. Like, I, I Maybe I'll delve into this a little deeper um, and maybe try to actually break it down, maybe call up some attorneys that I know and see if we can figure out what's going on here, but... This is a whole lot to get a little bit. Because let's, let's talk about this, right? Let's say he is guilty. Let's say you get all the people you need to get him on this felony. The max carries four years. Really? Are they really going to go get him, right, processing, do the pictures, the you know, the fingerprints, put him in the holding tank? I don't think they can. He's still president of the United States. If they did that, is they going to put him in the holding tank with his uh, Secret Service detail? Let's say he goes to trial and gets and gets, you know, found guilty. Really, they gonna what they gonna give him the max? Give him four years? Where? Come on now. What are we doing here? The absolute worst that can happen to this guy. He go through the whole process. He cops a deal. And he gets three years suspended. Something like that. It probably wouldn't even be that long. There's no way they're gonna keep this to make bump this up to a felony. Probably worst case he's looking at misdemeanor. What are we doing as the president of the United States? We don't want to open that box. We don't want to open a box when we can just use all these laws we got on the books to go after politicians that we like or don't like. Come on now, the job is already hard enough as it is. What are we doing here? Whoever's behind this. Are you really thinking about this? Do you really want to open up this box and let this monster out? Because you can't put it back in. Once the monster is out, it's out. If the liberals are out here doing this, right? And they're going to go after a Trump and let's say they get him. Okay, fine. The conservatives are going to do the same thing. With your boy, Shaky Joe, that's in the office right now. You know what I mean? As you can tell, I'm not a fan of Joe Biden either. You know what I mean? So... What are we doing here, people? Let's think it through. This doesn't make sense. This is useless. It's a waste of money. But again, the government don't care about money, right? Because it's your money, that theirs. So long as you keep paying your taxes and they can keep bailing out the 1% banks, the 1% Wall Streeters, the 1% corporations, they're going to keep doing that, ain't they? So I guess it doesn't matter what we waste the money on. This is definitely a head shaker, people. Let me know in the comments how y'all feel, bro. Um, yeah, man, I, I, I'm done. I ain't got nothing else to say about this, bro. I'm DL saying I'm gonna holler at y'all later. Peace.